Sports now. One of the newest members of BYU men's basketball. A signee officially as of yesterday. 6'6", yeah. six, six, sharpshooter out of Wasatch Academy. Richie's honors. Welcome to Studio What's B, up, Richie. Thank you. Thanks for having me, guys. Now, we've met you before on a recruiting visit, but now you're officially a, a Cougar. How does it feel, man? It feels, it feels awesome. Seriously, just what a dream. <laughs> How old were you when you thought maybe you'd want to play at BYU, or did this develop late? No, this is, this has been going on for a while, um, since I was little. Like obviously through the recruiting process, I was like, I didn't know where I wanted to end up, but no, now that I'm here, I'm just, I'm I'm just super happy. So did parents go to BYU? Family go to BYU? What's My mom it? did. Your mom did. Mom okay, did. so you grew up a Coug of sorts. Mm-hmm. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Okay, walk us through what it's like to weigh options and tell us about some of your options. Like, what, what was that process like for you as you try and decide for, okay, which school is going to be the best fit for me? It, it was tough. There were, there were so many great options. and um, So I got, I got my options down to three. Um, this was last, like, maybe a month and a half. Um, so Creighton, Utah State, and BYU. So I, I took my official visits to, to those three schools, and um, each, each one was just awesome. Like, <laughs> every time it, got, it made my decision harder. So... After my BYU visit, I loved it. Um, I had Utah State after, and I was like, I, I love BYU. Um, I, I went to my Utah State visit, and I, I loved it. Uh -huh. It's just they, they got good stuff going there too. Um, but, you know, this, it just fell back. This, this, this felt right, and no, I'm, I couldn't be more excited. Who really. took second, Richie? I, I don't. I can't disclose that. I can't. I can't. They're they both really good. All it was good. a tie for a second. Very <laughs> yeah. nice. Um, what what ultimately convinced you, or persuaded you, or or told you that this would be the right fit for you as a basketball player and as a student? Yeah. There's there's a lot of different um, things that go into it, but like the education here, you you can't get much better. Business wise, that's where I want to end up. Um, but you know, like basketball, it's. There's there's not many schools with this with these resources like even here we are in this this amazing building um, here we are yeah. yeah and so like stuff like this um, stuff with the fans like the Cougar Nation's real and like I've I've grown up in it um, and so it's it's awesome to to maybe like to to be in the other side of it so um, like the fan support the the coaching staff was a, another big one um, I believe in them I believe in Coach Pope and he's a fighter and that that's what I am is I'm a, I'm a fighter I don't. I don't like to stay the same. I like to to grow and I like to um, to change and to to get better. And I I think they can they can for sure help me with that. His juice is contagious. Yeah, oh like man. it's little, oh, right? Man. Like yeah, so much energy. Is, you meet him and it's just like you, you fall in love with him instantly. But yeah. So what you've noticed is there's no Utah State Sports Nation and no Creighton Sports Nation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not that I know, of, but maybe. maybe in the future. How would you explain your game and your skill set to those that have never seen you play mm -hmm. basketball? So what I'm, what I'm, I don't know, famous for or whatever, but what I'm, what I'm known for is shooting. But, um, like with, with Wasatch Academy, that is one of my, my roles on the team as long as, um, as well as like scoring and, um, defense. But my, my thing that I would describe my game as is, um, I'm a shooter, but, um, I, I really don't want to just be a shooter. So, um, I, I love advancing my game and, um, with the help of Paul Peterson, you got to got to find him but uh Paul Pigeon has helped me get get the um different aspects to my game defensive wise and then driving to the basket and you know that's one thing I'm constantly working on and getting trying to get better at so mission plans yeah so straight out okay yeah awesome and you graduated I think in May or yeah, June or yeah, whatever May. okay so I'm trying to go as soon as I can June 1st so yeah get back two years later for that season and then yeah. uh, the grind starts yeah okay, okay awesome. all right uh let's finish with this which NBA player would you like to pattern your game and your style after? There's two, Clay Thompson and C.J. McCollum. Okay. They, yeah, Ooh, I like those both. Are some of the greats. Yeah, so you want to take kind of C.J.'s uh, off the dribble and yeah. then Clay's kind of catch and shoot. Shooter, yeah. Granted, well, he can, can do Clay everything. Clay can play defense too, man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, he can do it all. Yeah. yeah. Richie, like congratulations, man. Thank you. It's great to have you at BYU. We, we would We're love to excited. have you sign our Sailor Coog flag. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, okay. And, and we should BYU mention, Sports this Nation. dude with woodwork is incredible. <laughs> incredible. Thank you. That's funny. Shock. I, I have no idea how to do any of that. He can do it. So, yeah. Fantastic. Great to have you in the studio, brother. All right. Thank go, you. Go ahead and sign, sign it. sign it yeah. right now? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it right now. Sign it up. Richie me. Saunders. I'm going to say your name like that. I'm yeah, sorry. I just love it. It's an East Coast accent. Yo, Richie Saunders for three.